Hi, welcome back. Another important session. So, it's for beginners. Uh, welcome back, professionals and students. Types of uh, rollout projects for SAP and non-SAP consultants, actually. So, what are the various types of uh, rollout projects? Rollout is one kind of uh, project methodology. Okay. So, let's see this. So, plant rollout. What is plant rollout? For example, you are already there uh, in UK. You have uh, certain locations, different plants are there. So, first you have done uh, implementation for uh, five plants. Later, you have a plan for location, another location. Maybe like, you know, geographically, they might divide into different states and uh, locations, right? They're uh, probably like, you know, you try to implement for another uh, 10 plants to different locations within the UK only, okay? So, but the location is different and the plant, uh, for the plant, you need to extend the, your SAP operations for manufacturing and sales and, uh, you know, finance, okay? Such a case, we'll call it as a plant rollout. So it's uh, like, you know, it depends on the scope of the plant, you know, what kind of operations and what kind of business requirements you have. So the, the time period generally for rollout projects, it's not more than uh, uh, two to three months, actually. Sometimes even less than that. Okay. So this is called plant rollout. Next one is company code rollout. For example, so you take USA in that uh, different states available. So each state you consider it as a one company code. Okay. So under that company code, you might have some... Uh, some four to five, six, 10, 15, 20 different uh, number of the plants or a single plant sometimes. So company code wise rollout will be there. Certain cases, the company code will be responsible for cross country operations also, such a case also, you will have a company code rollout. So that means when you take the certain company code under that, you will have plants with different locations that is also will be covered. It depends on the project scenario, how it permits the scope of the business actually. The third one is important, country rollout again. This is what I have experienced in one of my client actually. So like, you know, for example, they have taken, uh, uh, this is for distributors. So for example, Vietnam, they have taken. In Vietnam, um, you see that, you know, different locations, like around 1000 distributors. So phase wise, once implemented for a single distributor, they will try, they will come to know the country policies and financial policies and everything. Once I was part of implementation, once I have done the implementation, they will try to expand it for uh, another extension scenarios, any new functional specification, new changes, depends on the time limit, and they will expand for next year. Once these two done, there is nothing new to be invented for country specific sales and finance and uh, retail or whatever the operations you take. So check is what we'll do. There is a one team called cutout team. They'll try to do the rollout for different distributor locations. Once the distributors are live, one, one, one consultant or a few consultants will travel, depends on the need. They'll try to give the initial warranty period to support uh, that particular rollout project once it is live actually. This is called country rollout, okay? And this is also one different kind of rollout. Rollout with extensions. If you see about three, plant rollout and company code rollout and country rollout is there. So any one of is there, all mixed together it is there. So such a cases, certain plant, if any, some kind of uh, special tax policies, it depends on the location where they're implementing uh, or else uh, sometimes any automated solutions if they're expecting with existing implementation or trying to roll out for other locations, either plant-wise or company code-wise or country code-wise, on top of it, you will do enhancements. That is called rollout with extensions, actually. These are the different kind of rollouts are there currently in the market. So theory, it looks like simple. Sometimes rollout is complex. Certain rollout projects, what is the, I mean, like if you take rollout project for certain a big client, once the solution is approved in implementation, that is getting rolled off for years and years, four years, five years, it's uh, sometimes it is a financial, it depends on their business operation. They're trying to roll out country to country, it takes time. The cutover uh, consultants uh, face the heat actually within a week, they will go and uh, they will try to 
do all setup i have done one video for cut over activities you please go through it okay you will get to know how the project cut over it works in my youtube channel and i have done a sap methodology please try to get into this before getting into the real time if you are beginner then so if you are already there in real time you don't require to get into all those things because you you have some experience actually okay these are all the different kind of uh, rollout projects we have and if you like my video you can able to subscribe it uh, so if you have a privilege to learn more knowledge so i'll just providing the links of my udemy channel so there where i'm just uh, trying to give the scope for improve your knowledge before getting into the real time okay you can try for your best to enhance your knowledge on different topics one second let me show you yeah here is the place uh, here 3159 currently students i have 349 successful reviews this is the full course for sap sd ecc 82 hours with two 237 lectures as of now i'm just trying to add this video also to enhance their knowledge there there are different uh, set of groups where they would like to get uh, continuously striving for knowledge this is the sap s400 simple logics if you are beginner then you better get into this course and now currently it is running an offer sometimes it uh, weakens it might be bit high or else you know it varies in between uh, 369 to 600 most all times it is 459 to 500 you can see this is the course for pricing actually you know it is around 8 hours on your basics to get strong come back on pricing and if you see this course is for advanced level i have done recently okay so if you have doubts in stock transfer you get into this course in intercompany sales and sd business processes before getting into the real time if you'd like to be quick snapshot to work uh, your enhancement projects okay so there you have to write a functional specification if you find any gap let's discuss in next video what is gap exactly so getting master to write functional specification with riceof here i have given two practical examples different sections i have explained it will give an a brief idea about that okay so it might come in at any point of uh, your life if you are working in real time also so we have to write uh, specs actually to get a proof before starting a solution in implementation <laughs> support uh, kind of uh, enhancement project if you see this is for rebates and and a few courses available for s4 hana okay so please go through all these links uh, so where you can able to try to enhance your knowledge this is stock transfer on uh, orders on s4 hana 2020 recently done this is also another a good course to get to get an idea about how sap sd le transportation works don't think that this is the transportation module course this is sap sd ecc le if you want you can get some idea okay so that's all about my courses so thank you so much for listening and more importantly i would like to tell before concluding that jai hind